what's going on everybody it's me it's me it's the p-r-i-m-e guys i just i really want to talk about this special dave chappelle sticks and stones special on netflix please go check it out if you have it because we are going to talk about it i want to see if you can guess who it is i'm doing an impression of right. and i don't care what i find out could be today tomorrow 15 20 years from now if i find out you're fucking the finished so i i wasn't intending on doing a recap for this at all that's you that's what the audience sounds like to me. That's why I don't be coming out doing comedy all the time, because y'all niggas is the worst motherfuckers I've ever tried to entertain in my fucking life. But after I started watching, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna have to recap this. So, first of all, the stage setup, I like it kind of remind me of the Chappelle show, how he got the, how he got the little step in the front, all that kind of stuff. I like his uniform and all that. Get that out of the way. So. This start for, for for one reason. It starts off special because usually comedians there had them do, getting the introduction. They had them walking out on stage. You know, like this dude, <laughs> it seemed like this special started out in mid joke. Like he was in mid joke when it started. I feel like, and he didn't just ease you in there. Like, oh, how y'all doing? You know, understand? Nah, he went he went right to work. First joke. So he he started coming out with the jokes, and yo, I gotta say he Dave Chappelle is just. He's a, he's a he's a comedic genius, all right? Comedic genius. And I, my top three are uh, Eddie Murphy, Dave Chappelle, and Bernie Mac. It'd have been number one, and sometimes it's interchangeable between Dave Chappelle and Bernie Mac, in my opinion. Now, this special, this special, basically Dave was just saying, I don't care what y'all have to say. I don't care what nobody have to say. I can say whatever I want to say while I'm on this stage. And if you got a problem with it, like you said in the special, don't click on my face. <laughs> so that, I want to say that part is probably one of the funniest parts in the whole thing. Because I forgot what joke he said. But he said a joke and he looked at the camera. He's like, and y'all, for y'all at home, y'all got something to say about it? Don't click on my face. All right. Now we got that out of the way. Like, uh, he's just, he's just great. Um. He did. He had a lot of good jokes in there, like the bit with uh. <laughs> he did get backlash over this one with the 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 uh, the one with Michael Jackson though. He was like, he been dead for ten years. He got two new cases. And he was like, I don't think he did it, but if he did, you know, <laughs> that, that part had me dying. And he was like, well, I mean, it's Michael Jackson, you know. That part had me dying, even though I know a lot of people was giving him backlash. A lot of people gave him backlash over the whole thing, but that that part was funny. Also, the part he was talking about Kevin Hart that was like that was funny. Um, the part he was talking about the gun control and how all every African American should buy a gun, and <laughs> then they start changing the laws. That part is that part is funny and from uh, and for. Mational, the part where he's talking about somebody in his house, he should get a gun and all that. That's a story that that is one of those stories that take you in in a loop through emotions. Um, what's another thing? He another joke he had that I really liked was the um, oh what was oh the, about the school shooting? How <laughs> his son they had practice for school shootings, and he was like, "Well, I think that's stupid because you're just teaching the shooter, you know, where to go." He was like, "Uh, excuse me, where do we meet?" In the back over there in the corner, gotcha. <laughs> Just teaching the school shooter all the all the all the locations. Um, he also talked about Juicy Smoulet, a um, foreign French actor who got beat up and stuff. So Juicy Smoulet, go look that up uh, if you haven't heard the Juicy Smoulet uh, story yet. Uh, you'll probably be entertained. <laughs> uh, just look at the whole special, man. I know for me it was kind of like a middle ground in there where where he was talking about I didn't really I want to say I didn't really care but it just didn't stick with me is when he's talking about those letters in the alphabet and that part kind of didn't stick with me but it was it was still entertaining he's talking about how they were in Atlanta it, just please go watch it it is entertaining and Dave Chappelle doesn't care at all I'm just gonna re end my review here that's all I got to say. 
prime time is all the time go watch the special on netflix and i'm out come on push the button yeah come on push your button push the goddamn button push the goddamn button you heard what she said